I'm Indy Lush and I'm inside the Hub Culture Studio. It's Davos 2020 here with Olivier Ullier. He is the president of Emotive. Thanks very much for coming back. Always a pleasure. So tell me, what am I wearing? I have to reveal it because they're actually a lot smaller. The brain sensor this year is smaller than it was last year. So tell me, what's the innovation? What's going on? Well, the thing is, um, as cool as our technology is, I'm very, very biased, of course, mm -hmm. uh, it's quite bulky to use in our daily activities. It's mm. great for research in labs, also in some work environments. Mm -hmm. But if we want to really understand how people's brains are working in real life, you need something that integrates seamlessly. In so you can walk around, life. you can move your head, you can go from here to there. You can listen to music, you can take your calls, but also it has brain sensors embedded that allow not only to monitor your brain activity, mm. but thanks to our machine learning algorithms, it can monitor in real time your level of stress, attention distraction, mm. and cognitive load. So What's cognitive load? It's the amount of information that you're processing. And mm. sometimes there is too much information yep. and it's hard for us to process. That's really interesting. So I wonder if it can, if it analyzes me through the week, could it maybe predict when I'm likely to be better for certain kinds of tasks? That's exactly what we're trying to achieve and what we've achieved already with some of our partners. The idea that we need to personalize the day mm. of work. We come from decades where when you get a job, your brain has to adapt to the work environment because mm. it's a one size fits all. Th now, with this technology, we can have a work environment adapting to how your brain works, how you feel. And because we integrate the technology and the data with your computer interface, mm. with robots, with all sorts of connected environments, mm. we can truly personalize the experience in the workplace. So this to me is the exciting side of AI. This is the enhancement that AI can bring. This is the kind of augmentation that I feel like is important to talk about when we talk about the future of work. Is that right? Absolutely. The future of work, as long as it involves humans, mm. requires us to do everything possible to improve wellness, to improve safety, to improve the way we learn and we relearn, we're being mm. reskilled, and also performance and productivity. And this requires to personalize. Some people are better or more efficient in the morning, mm -hmm. some in the afternoon. Sometimes because you didn't sleep well, mm. well, you shouldn't do certain tasks, especially when lives of people are at risk, mm. just like uh, airline traffic controllers, for example. Right. So it's very important um, to be able to monitor stress and distraction which are two of the key issues in the workplace, regardless of the industry. So one aspect of this world, this information digital age, is of course privacy and data security. I want to make sure that I'm in charge of who gets my brain waves, right? I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but I don't want everyone to know Absolutely. how I work and what my, my habits are. It's very important. And you know, um, in my previous life, I was an advisor to the French prime minister and I participated in revising the French bioethics laws mm -hmm. for them to be adapted to these changes in neuroscience. And actually, I was recently speaking with uh, senators in France for the new version of a law. Hmm. As a company, number one, we do not sell our data to third parties. Mm -hmm. Number two, people can only undergo brain scanning after giving us consent. This is not something you do without people realizing. Right. And then when we work, third point, very important, when we work with organization, when we integrate with organization, they sign a charter with a list of things they commit to. Number one is that this technology can only be used in order to remove some time of work, hmm. not to add time of work. Number two, it cannot be used in order to promote or demote people or discriminate people. These are the main points. There are many others uh, regarding protection of data protection, GDPR, mm -hmm. the uh, norm at the European level that mm -hmm. we apply globally, data ownership, anonymization. Mm -hmm. We want to make sure that this is tech for good, right. that we improve people's lives, we make it better for them, but also for their employees. And that is key for us. I love it. I really love it. Thank you so much, uh, Olivier, for coming by the Hub Culture Studio. I can't wait to see what the tech, how the technology continues to develop. I'm Edie Lush. It's Davos 2020. Listen to your brain. <laughs>